Hey guys, um, you know, I thought our guys really came in here and competed tonight. You know, the Ohio State's a fantastic team, uh, especially at home. Um, you know, I, I thought they, they had a little bit more energy than us to start the game. They were more aggressive, but then once we settled in, I really thought we, uh, we locked in and we defended significantly better. We played off each other. I thought our guys really got connected, had a little bit of foul trouble uh, within the game, which certainly um, affected us. Um, you know, it was hard to keep this team down. You know, EJ Liddell was really, really difficult to guard down the stretch. Um, and again, I give our guys credit. We really executed, um, got some really good looks. I thought they executed a little bit better and made one more play than we did. Um, and, you know, they went 20 for 21 from the foul line and we went 18 for 24. So um, I took the, I took the two teams that just really, really, you know, battled, really battled. And I'm really proud of our guys. And we just can't, we just can't let this game uh, affect us for Saturday. So we got to bounce back quick, get home quick, get some rest and bounce back. Sorry for the delay in this. I'm trying to unmute Corey to get ready to start. Nate, you'll be on deck. Ian Pegler, you'll be after Nate Bauer. Jim, can you hear me okay? I can, Corey. Yep. Hey, Jim, you got two tremendous looks there. You yeah. had a wide open three for the lead. You got Myron from 12 feet. Could you have drawn up that any better in the last minute on the road? No, and that's why, you know, I, I really give our guys credit. And that's why we just huddled up. Let's go get on to the next one. Because we really did a lot of really good things to win this basketball game, to put ourselves in, in position to win it. And we executed. You know, you can't control the shots going in, uh, but you can control the focus and the concentration and the effort to execute. And I thought they did a fantastic job of that. We got two really good shots. Um, again, I thought some ticky tack fouls might have hurt us late um, in that game. But uh, I mean, hey, man, I, I give our guys a lot of credit. You know, this is, this is a tough, tough, really good Ohio State team. And, you know, obviously you're one play away from, from winning it. Um, you know, but we can say that about the Indiana game and, and Seton Hall game, too. So we're going to keep doing it, man. We're going to keep doing it. These guys, these guys deserve uh, every opportunity to win games and they keep putting themselves in position, too. And we're going to just keep getting better. And, and we're going to win these games. We will. we got a bunch coming up, a bunch of opportunities for us. Nate Bauer, you're next. William Pegler, you're on deck. Jim, what, what considerations um, went into having Isaiah on the, on the bench for that last uh, sequence? Yeah, you know what? We, we had really talked about it, but he was out so long with that fourth foul. We felt the other guys were in a little bit more rhythm. Um, and we did. We hesitated. I put him in, not put him in. And then we just, you know, we went to Seth. Seth had the real hot hand. So we went to him the first time and then we went to MJ to get the shots and we got, you know, we got two great shots. Um, you know, I'll, I'll look at it again, but I, you know, what we talked about, it was, it was some of the issue that he had picked up his fourth foul and, you know, he was sitting out for a while. So we decided to go with the guys that have been in the flow. Thanks. William Pegler, you've got the next question. Mark Brennan, you're on deck. Hey, Jim, obviously uh, Jamari made those two big plays before halftime um, on the defensive end. I think we know what he brings, you know, as a defender. But in games like this, how important is his, you know, senior leadership and, and just the fact that he's been there before in, in you know, moments like this? Yeah, he, you know, those guys, he's a winner. And I thought that was a big turning point in the game. Those two big, big stops, steals that he had. Um, you know, him and John Harrow have just been tremendous. Tremendous. I, I can't say enough about these guys with their, with their leadership right now. Um, and, you know, Jamari's really down. He's really down right now because of the free throws. But like I said, man, like we wouldn't be in this situation if we weren't, didn't have him and his energy and, and what he does for us. Let's go next to Mark Brennan. Justin Morgenstein, you're on deck. Jim, what do you make of your defense in this game? Because you give up 83, but you also force 17 turnovers and get 23 points from them. That would seem to be huge. And if I could follow up real quickly, uh, can you give us any update on Sam and maybe his availability moving forward? Thank you. I thought our defense was pretty good in spurts. You know, I thought like we started the game was not very good. They beat us loose balls. Their offensive rebounded on us. Uh, I thought we got significantly better. I mean, we, when we went on that, when we took that lead, man, we, we were really locked in. They had a hard time scoring on us. We were rebounding the ball. We were getting out, playing in transition. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes it's not just the, the score because the possessions of the game, we play with so much pace. You know, we broke down a little bit and they shot a high percentage against us, which really, you know, broke us down. I thought them going one-on-one -on -one late hurt us, like I said, with Liddell. Um, making big baskets for them. 
uh, and Dwayne Washington hitting that huge three. I thought that was that was uh, those are big plays. Um, you know, with Sam, it, it's a it's a I guess what they call a lower leg injury right now, and we're going to see you know where he goes with uh, with rehab every day. So we'll, hopefully we can get him back for Saturday, but we'll see. Let's go next to Justin Morgenstein, and then Tandy Luce, you're on deck. Hey, Tim. Uh, I know size has obviously been a theme all year, but, you know, John has just, over the past few games, stepped up his rebounding even more than he already had. Just talk about his tenaciousness tonight and just as the season has gone on. Yeah, you know, John's <laughs> he's a warrior. And, and I feel like there's so much on his back. I mean, he's just taking it all. I, I, I said it, uh, you know, Bruce Lee, I mean, he's like water. Man, he's like water. He just morphs into whatever you need him to do, and and you know, he's just I, I you know I get choked up sometimes when I talk about John because of what he's willing to sacrifice and what he's willing to do, and and that's why we're in these positions. That's why we're playing good basketball. And that's why we have an opportunity to keep competing and win games. He's just tremendous. Let's go next to you, um, Tammy Luce, and then Cole Emplett. Hi, Coach. Just uh, how confident does it make you knowing that Seth Lundy is really starting to kind of come out of the shooting slump that he was in and really getting his confidence back yet? And also that like you're really able to score quite well tonight without Sam coming off the bench like he usually does. Yeah, I mean, you know, the first part, I feel really good for Seth. You know, it's not really about me and my confidence. It's about Seth. Uh, I feel really good for him because he's putting in the time, um, you know, uh, as a basketball player, as a former basketball player, I know what it's like when you go to the ball, especially when you're a shooter, and it is a confidence thing, and you got to just keep trying to do it. He's doing a really good job of that. Um, and he's also doing other things, you know what I mean? I think he still had four rebounds tonight as well. He got to the foul line, uh, which is important for us. So I'm happy for Jeff. Um, but then same thing, now people are going to put him right back on top of the score, you know, the, the scouting report now. So he's going to be prepared for that too. Um, but again, you know, Pretty balanced team. I thought we got in foul trouble, which which really hurt us because uh, I thought we were really playing some really good basketball there for a while. Cole Implet, we'll come to you next, and then we're going to finish up this session with Nate Bauer. Hey, Coach. Uh, great production from the offensive starters tonight. Um, you just had six bench points tonight, all from Miles Dread. Uh, will this be an emphasis going forward to try to just get more guys involved on the offensive end? Yeah, well, um, you know, Sam Sessions is averaging about 10 points a game off the bench. So when you lose a guy like that, your bench scoring is going to be a little bit um, different. So Miles played well. I got to remember, Miles hasn't played in a while, too. Uh, so I thought he made some big plays and big shots. So, um, you know, we're a team. We're not a, we're not a um, individual. You know, we don't have this guy that's going to get 20 every night that we're just going to go to. So we, we play, you know, team basketball and, and – you know, it's the next man up mentality. And I think our guys have really handled that very well with, you know, with injuries when we have them and, and um, you know, playing unselfishly, uh, you know, and just getting the ball to the hot hand. I think that's where we have to continue to play. Nate hey, Bauer, let's go to you. And we're going to wrap up this session with your last year question. Jim, I apologize if this is too broad, but my, my count is four games, four losses now that, that have been in doubt in, in the last minute, two minutes to play um, for you guys. Can you put your finger on, are, are there any commonalities, I guess, um, you know, that, that you haven't been able to get over the hump in the last couple of minutes specifically? Uh, I think they've all been different, Nate. And it's, it is a broad stroke, but I think it's, uh, they've all been different. The one thing I will say is, uh, we have given up a three um, with about two minutes to go, two, two and a half to go um, in almost each one of those games. I think if we take away that three-pointer, and even if it's just a two, it could be a totally different story. Um, but we keep looking at that stuff. And again, you know, last time I think it was we, we didn't get a great shot at the end. You know, we got great shots at the end. Uh, maybe we didn't get the stop. We needed. Again, that was a great college basketball game. So I think, you know, got to give credit to Ohio State picking one more play than we did. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. We appreciate it. And hey, we guys, just the last thing. I know it's, 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 you know, we're not wearing our suit this year and everything, but it's still, you know, coaches versus cancer. So if there's anything you guys can do to, to obviously to, you know, promote that. Um, you know, I know we're in a pandemic and that's kind of taken over everything, but, Cancer hasn't gone away. I know it affects all of us. 
it affects my family very deeply. But um, if we can just keep pumping it out there, because we can, we're getting closer to beating it, and, and hopefully we will soon. So, thanks, guys. Appreciate it.